The flying saucer enlisted in the armed forces, skimmed across to Eatney, and joined in the Navy, Army, Air Force combined operation Exercise Runaground. It was put on to show Staff College students how to land an attacking force on a hostile beach. Two troops of Royal Marines were put ashore by helicopters. Some were dropped into the sea to swim underwater to the land in Frogman's outfit. Apart from the hovercraft, there was nothing specially new about these tactics. But since the war, there's a new generation of officers and men to be taught how a small invasion is carried out. The great thing is to cut down the high danger part, that is between sea and landing ashore, to the least time possible. Naturally, the hovercraft took everybody's eye. Both on water and land, it moves without touching either, on its cushion of compressed air. Hence, leading servicemen believe the flying saucer has a role to play in the field of invasion. It didn't stay long. It went out to sea again, having shown that this kind of operation is a flying saucer's cup of tea. <laughs>